Hi everyone, welcome to my video. Today I'm going to show you how to create classes on our DHCP server and create smaller pools for each group of clients depending on their host name or MAC address. I will use an Ubuntu desktop, a Windows 10 and a group of tiny cores for this experiment. But before we start, let me remind you, you can subscribe to my channel and press that bell button to get notifications about all the videos I'll be publishing. Now, let's start. Okay, let's start to configure our DHCP server. I will enter the configuration folder and open the configuration file on my editor. So, we need to configure some classes in order to make smaller pools for each type of device we have on our network. In this case, I will create an Ubuntu class, a Windows class and a Tiny Core class. For the first two, I will try to match by the host name prefix. So what I mean is that I will try to get the host name from the received packets and in this case the first six characters so I can certify that the Ubuntu machine is the one I am grabbing in my DHCP pool. In the second one I will try to grab machines that start its host name by Windows. So the first seven characters. And in the last one, instead of filtering the host name I will filter the MAC address so the variable on the traffic is the hardware and I will filter the first five bytes of the MAC address I have previously prepared for this experiment so this 080027AAAA will be the prefix for our machines now let's create the new pools I will make the IP range shorter for our smaller pools, in this case from 4th octet 11 to 20 and in this first pool I will allow members of class Ubuntu. Let's copy this and paste in order to create three configurations. The second pool will be from IP ending in 21 through 30 for members of class Windows and the third pool will be for IPs starting on 31 ending on 40. Okay, and let me change a little bit configurations, the list time, default and max list time and this one is for members of class tiny car the one that is being used with MAC address filtering I need to restart the service and check if the service is working properly okay so now let's capture some network traffic in order to see what's already happening in our network. Now we'll see the Dora process for the machines. I have already my first IP already acknowledged to the first client, the Ubuntu 01, because I have my Ubuntu already running in order to test the first pool. Here we have it. Let me open the terminal so we can see the IP address of the correct network interface. As you can see 10.10.0.15 is the IP address that we delivered and in my DHCP list I have the very same IP address. 
So first client already working. Now the Windows machine. Let's see what we have here configured previously. I will open my control panel, the systems section. So I can show you that my machine has an host name Windows 10 VM. So with this host name, I am prepared to get the machine configured by using the HCP. So I expect it to get the IP. Here we have it 10.10.0.21, an IP address from the second pool. So here we have Windows 10 VM also configured using the second pool allowed for members of Windows class. And then let's run some tiny core machines. Let me show you the MAC addresses. 080027AAAA01 in this case. I will show you also the other machines. The first is already starting. Let's press enter to put the boot going. And here we have the first IP address delivered to a tiny core Linux ending on 31. Now I'm running the second machine. Let me press enter here also. Okay. We will see the second IP address shortly. The third one already starting. You will see the IPs ap appearing on the list back there on the server. One more, the fourth machine. And the fifth. Okay, here we are. So let me just adjust this a little bit so you can have some space. Okay. So now we have four machines already on the list, but there's one machine missing. The third one, I have made a slightly different configuration. MAC address is 080028 instead of 27. So this machine will not enter the class because the MAC address doesn't match the required prefix. So this machine here will not get an IP address. If I show you the traffic, you can see the discover packet being sent, but with no answer from the server. Okay. So this will not be configured with this configuration. So I can increase the size. Let me open the terminal. Okay. And if I show you if config, we don't have an IP address and we have the MAC address the, that doesn't match the correct tiny core class on our server. So here we have today I've shown you how to configure classes on our DHCP server. You can use this to make more specific configurations for each type of computers, printers, uh, rooms, open space, anything you would like to configure more specifically. Okay. So let me remind you to subscribe my channel and press the bell button. If you want to receive notifications about all the videos I'll be publishing. That's all for now, guys. Thank you very much. Take care and see you on my next video.